Hello everyone, I am so excited that Vlogmas season is finally here. Oh, can you even believe it? Oh my goodness, so, so, so excited. I spent some time getting my office ready to go and making it feel more festive. I also went through all of my advent projects and works in progress from last winter. A lot of the bags that I have, my winter bags, were just full of odds and ends and leftovers. And so I went through and cleaned everything out. Definitely had to get some pet hair off of those bags. Um, but yeah, otherwise just getting prepped and ready for advent knitting that is coming up very, very soon. I think in this bag, I have a whole bunch of leftovers from my Fiber Fox advent calendar last year. And I used this bag to house my Lemina app. If you have not yet checked out the uh, last podcast episode, it's all about Advent knitting, so I shared what I worked on last year and the years before, what I plan to work on this year, and what I'm currently still working on, um, which is now being put on the back burner because we are in 2022 Advent season. And so yes, I still have some that aren't quite finished, um, but that's okay. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. There's lots of good ideas in there. There's also lots of ideas that people have left in the comments for what they're working on. And so if you're still kind of wondering what to make, I highly recommend checking that out. I know a few other knitters and yarn dyers have some similar videos up on YouTube, so you can search those out and hopefully get some ideas. This bag included my pinwheel scrap blanket from uh, Mina Phillip or Knitting Expat, and I was knitting these little pinwheel squares out of yarn from Blush Yarns. And so I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I plan to continue to work on this this year, but I have, I still have lots of leftover minis from that Blush Yarn advent calendar. And so I don't know, I got to figure out what to do. Do I keep making these little scrap squares? Do I add them to other scrappy projects? I'm just not sure. I've already been able to go through and add or make two squares with each mini. And so you your yarn really goes a long way in this pattern and that's why I love it so much. You can make some of these squares with, you know, if you have a handful of maybe five or six grams, maybe you made some socks and you knit heels, toes, and cuffs and now you have a little bit of yarn left over. Honestly, you could probably get it into one of these pinwheel blankets and it's fantastic. So really happy that I stumbled upon this pattern and really happy that Mina Phillip created it for us to use. And so I'm putting them all away. Again, I will be making more squares this year, but I will put the ones that are completed in this little tote and save them for when I'm ready to join those all together. I am so excited that y'all are joining me for Vlogmas this year. I hope that you stick around all the way through December. It's going to be a really fun time. I have lots of projects I'm going to be working on. I think I have six different advent calendars I'm going to be opening up along the way. And I'm just so happy to be sharing in the holiday season with you all. I still need to get the tree all set up, but I'm very much looking forward to doing that and making my house very cozy and getting the rest of my holiday decorations out. We've just finished Thanksgiving here in the States, and so I'm still coming down off my <laughs> food coma from that, but ready to rock now that we are finally in December. And oh goodness, where did this year go? It went so, so quick, but I can't even be mad that now we're at Advent season again.
Hi everybody, it is the evening and I've just, well not just, but earlier today I had an update for the Autumnal Tonals collection as well as bringing the holiday yarns back and so thank you uh, to everyone who has shopped that update. This will likely be my last update of the year unless I end up having extras from the pre-orders that will go up, but I think I've decided that on December 10th, I'm going to be cutting it off and saying, okay, now the shop is on holiday. That way I don't need to worry about dyeing yarn or shipping out orders or anything like that. I can just focus on family time and advents. And uh, my husband and I are going on a trip in December for about a week. Um, and then yeah, we'll be like into Christmas. So and then vlogmas, so much vlogmas. So um, yeah, just excited to finally have that out there. I feel like it was a little rushed because I didn't take as much time as I should have to really just promote the update um, because I was so busy with advents and getting those packaged up and shipped out and off into the world that I just completely I had all of the autumnal tonal samples dyed up. They've just been sitting and waiting. Um, so yeah, I feel like I, I kind of missed out there, but it seems like people are still shopping the update anyway, and that's really exciting. I'm seeing a lot of sweater quantities get purchased, which is great. And yeah, I'm still working through my advent wrap pattern. Um, I just had to re-knit some sections because my tech editor found some issues and so here is one of the sections it's hard it's rolling because it's on DK and some small needles but I just grabbed what I had close um, so I could test this out again but um, yeah just section and then working through the one single color and two color brioche so I've just got all of those edits taken care of, sent that back to the tech editor. And so I'm hoping very, very soon we'll all have that pattern that we can start testing out. As I mentioned, it's Friday, our son's coming over for dinner, I believe. I've got food in the crock pot. I'm gonna haul my butt upstairs. No, just shut my brain off with maybe a, a silly holiday romance Hallmark movie. I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to not watch the new Lindsay Lohan one on Netflix, but I feel like it's gonna happen sooner or later. It also reminded me that I wanted to share this cake that I have left over. This is a local dyer. Um, I bought this in another colorway to make a hat last year and ended up only using 10 grams of this and then stuck it away in my bin of leftovers. And it's just this really pretty light gray. It's kind of, I've got yellow lighting in here, so it's not picking up exactly true to color but how fun is that it is a silver stellina dk base which i think i might need to introduce to the shop in the next year i feel like i need a glitz dk how fun would that be but i was using it to knit this two color brioche just because i needed another color of dk and I think since I have so much left, I'm going to cast on another Musselboro hat, only this time it's going to be DK, and I just think that would make a really pretty hat. Just a sparkly gray winter hat. I'm walking around about what's happened to me from July up till now don't know where don't know how lately I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes so it's true it wouldn't be a real vlog without bringing y'all along while I did some work and I thought you would like a peek behind the scenes at how I photograph yarn so this is a little bit of a beautiful tonal mini photo shoot action happening here so i've got all of my autumnal tonal minis and i'm lining them up on this beautiful fluffy little rug 
and yeah it's all very glamorous as you can see but lots of different softbox lights and all that good stuff constantly trying to replicate actual daylight as i work out of a basement with no real windows and so sometimes i'll haul everything upstairs when i have some really pretty natural light but the majority of the time this is this is how we this is how we have to work so uh, I try really, really hard to get the colors as true as I can to my eye um, without having yeah, the beautiful sunshine. Maybe, maybe in my next life, maybe in my next home, I don't know. Maybe I'll have a beautiful studio space where I can have everything set up. But for now, this is what we're working with. And I love, 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 love these autumnal tonals. I love the minis. The mini pack is available in the shop right now if you want to grab some they're very limited but look how cute they all are i just love these colors so much